Night one at the Mustang Classic caps with a thrilling 15-14 win for Stevenson over Dickinson. Head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, I don't know. What a night. What a day. What a game. (laughs) What a win. Uh, Where do you even begin after something like that? Yeah, it was a great day of lax here. Five games and everything. But, uh, you know, it's good to get a W here. You know, beat a top ten team. It's been a little while since we've done that. But I thought, you know, maybe now we in the fourth quarter we kind of gave them a few and kind of get the lead away. We made the big plays in the end to get Jack the goal and Cam made a, a big boy play to help us win it there in, in the end. And uh, so we actually made the plays to win the game. But a great day for us, you know, good win. You know, we get to play a great RIT team tomorrow. But uh, we like what we did today. And uh, I think that, you know, we took a big step forward about winning some of these close games and making the plays to win those games. Coach, you reference in the fourth quarter. This was eerily similar to the situation a year ago when you were up one against this team. <laughs> exactly. And they came back and took the lead. What, what did you do differently? What did these guys do differently? How did you avoid suffering the same fate? Well, you got to remember a year ago, Jack Scalati was a freshman in that situation trying to make those plays. Now we drew up a play for him. He got it. He's a sophomore. He understands the situation better, made the tough play. You know, Ryan Coleman got, did a great job getting himself together more and was a really a factor all around. But I think the guys are learning. What do you get with our team? We're building through the process, right? So, you know, we had a tough loss the first one. We didn't play great. You know, we did a, played really hard against CNU, but we made some a lot of mistakes. We got better against Gettysburg. We got a little bit better against Lynchburg. You know, today, and then we're starting to make those plays, those tough plays, but we did a lot of things we got still got to work at but you know when you're trying to win and the team that was down on itself a little bit now you're starting to come back and make those plays so now we got to stack it you know we get one today we got to try to stack one tomorrow uh, that's what we're going to try to do um, with that your goalie Justin Scoris you needed him to come up with a big yeah. one there in overtime and he came up with a bunch throughout the course of the day um, stepping into the starting role this season. He's been really good all season long. How impressed have you been? It's good. He's been solid. You know, he makes a save he should. You know, and I think that's the big part of it, and he makes a few he shouldn't. And so that's all you can ask for out of a goalkeeper. And I think Justin's doing a great job stepping up, being a leader. He's not used to that as much in the past. And I think he's doing a good job stepping up and making those saves, and he's solid with it. And so that's all you need. I think we got a good enough defense in front of him to help him, and as long as he's solid, that's awesome. Uh, can you go to clearing practice when you only have one day to turn around? <laughs> yeah. well, I, I, you know, I think this is a confidence thing. Those guys are there. And we got to make some plays to help. You know what I mean? Like Josh is long, but you got you got to catch a pass. You know, and good teams make those plays, right? And we got to do a better job of that, of making those little plays. And I think we just get a little tense and got a lot of new guys playing for us. So sometimes they get in those situations and uh, games are different. You know, Tim tells me all the time, clearing is only one part of the game. It's a big part of the game, but it's only one part of the game. But we, I think we'll, we're getting better there. You know, we've done we did some great things at times, clearing the ball, made some really great passes. Unfortunately, we just made some unforced little silly errors I think we got to get rid of, and it will be tight. Every team's going to turn it over in the clear, some, whether one way or another. We just have to do a better job of making the tougher plays in the middle of the field. Right, describe for me out of the timeout uh, what Cam did there as the shot clock was expiring. Uh, well, we just had a, you know, we had a little play. We were going to run there. We, uh, we had a little slip pick there. We tried to get it to Jack behind, and we are going to set a pick inside for Cam, which we ran, but they covered it pretty well. And then we tried to bang it up top to Coleman against the short stick to go down the alley. And uh, They did a great job getting it, but then uh, Cam, you know, being the leader, first game back in four games there, uh, you know, he didn't get a lot of looks, but he made a real, great play. And that's what kind of seniors do. You know, we need them to step up to make a play, and he made a big one and a tough play, and that's what he's all about, you know, toughness and doing things the right way. And, and if you do things the right way daily in and out, you're going to – going to get rewarded for it and he made the tough play for us to win but that's what you need an upperclassman to do that's why you have them and that's good teams do that and uh the upperclassmen lead them and he led us today for sure all right just some final thoughts on what this day i mean you got to do it again another five games tomorrow but a day like this you know atmosphere everybody was fired up tonight great crowd participation what this means to the program what this means to the sport well, I just think it's a great event that we were able to build up. You know, we started like, 10, I think it was 10 years ago with two teams, and then we went to four teams, then we went to six teams, then we went to eight teams, then we went to 10 teams. And I really got to give credit to the coaches. The coaches that make this happen uh, are the ones that bring their teams here and bring all their fans here to do this, and it's been awesome. So today was a great thing, and, you know, we got all the media here. Can't thank the inside lacrosse guys enough for everything they do to support Division Three lacrosse, and that's awesome. And so it's just really one of the best events in lacrosse. You know, we had a guy call us from Dickinson, I mean, earlier, and he's like, wins the games. You know, we come do an annual trip to Stevenson to watch the Mustang Classic. Like, who would have thought, like, when we started that, hey, we got people making annual trips for this to hang out with their buddies to do that. So it's just been one of the mainstreams of events in lacrosse nowadays, and it's awesome. And the coaches that come here make, make it because they're all invested, and they don't have to do that. Playing these games back-to-back are extremely strenuous on your teams. They beat you up. you got your players going day in and day out. So it's so hard on them, and it, it, kudos to them. But I think the players love it. You know, you're watching a game before then, you know, then the game's over, and you play your game, then you're watching 
another game, great two great teams battle for it. And, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, guys like these D1 guys, like, oh, we take a week to play a game. We got to be ready. <laughs> and, oh, my guy's got to get exactly 10 and a half hours of sleep. And we got to eat at four hours beforehand. Like, these guys here, like, let's play lax. Let's go. Let's play some great games. Let's get after it. Let's have a lot of fun. Let's play lax instead of, you know, coaching the hell out of these kids. Let them play. Let them be fun. Let them get after it. And that's what they want. They want to play in front of great crowds. They want to see each other play, see other teams play. That's what they want. You know, and this is why this event's so great because those, I think all the coaches that come to this understand that and they want to do be a part of this. That's what's great about it. Don't let him fool you. He was a D1 guy once upon a time, too. Hey, coach. He was for a long time. Yeah. But <laughs> again, they just overcoached the guys. Let them play. Let them play. Hey, coach. Congratulations on a massive win. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.